name is Trisha Werenberg. I am the Youth Services Librarian at Winona Public Library. And first up in our series about the six skills of early literacy is letter knowledge. Letter knowledge is knowing that the same letter can look different as well as knowing that each letter makes a sound. So what I mean when I say that is knowing that each letter can look different is that these are both the letter A. But this one is a capital A and it looks a lot different from this one. So knowing that letters can look differently and still make the same sounds is part of this letter knowledge skill. So when putting the letter sounds together, children are able to sound out the full word. And this is a foundational skill needed for reading full words and sentences. Letters, shapes, and colors are everywhere you look. So the best way to build a knowledge of what each letter sounds like is to say these letters out loud. It helps your child to develop a sense of the different sounds that each letter can make, and it also helps them to correlate the shape of the letter to the sound. So here are some simple strategies that you can incorporate at home. Children usually spell their name first. That's one of the first things they spell is their name. And if they can't spell it, they at least know what letter it starts with. And they love that. So take the first letter of your child's name and ask them if they can find other objects or know other words that start with that letter. So for me, for example, my name is Trisha. I would say, what letter does your name start with? T. What else starts with the letter T? And then I might look around and say, tree. Tree starts with the letter T. Or toe. Toe starts with T. And kind of go around and see if your child can spot things around them or recollect words that start with the same letter as their first name. You can also point out items while driving and do the same sort of thing. You can ask them what other words start with that letter and to really emphasize that first letter. So I would say, for example, there is a b, b building. What else starts with the letter B? And again, they can look around, find things around them that start with the letter B, try to think of words they already know that start with the letter B. And sometimes they might say a word that doesn't start with the letter B. And that's okay. It's okay to gently correct them or to steer them um, and let them know that that doesn't start with the letter B, but that was a really good try. That letter actually is a P-P-P. Um, so feel free to do that. Don't feel afraid to correct your child if they get it wrong. That's okay. Um, pointing out and naming different shapes and colors as you're reading a book is another way to enforce the skill. So I have a book with me called The Button Book. So there are a lot of books that have shapes and colors in them that don't necessarily point them out in the text, but you will find them in the illustrations. So you can start something called a dialogic reading conversation with your child, which means basically you're just having a dialogue with your child about things that are in the book that's not necessarily pointed out in the text. So for me, I picked out the button book. And in the button book, they do name the colors of the buttons, but they don't name the shapes of the buttons. So. Here is an orange button. What does the orange button do? And for me, I would say, what shape is that orange button? It's a triangle, good job. Now that's not necessarily pointed out in the text, but that's something that you can pull out from the illustrations and talk about the shapes and maybe even talk about what letters have those shapes in them. Another way you can do this is by writing a big letter on a piece of paper, and then giving your child some stickers or something else that they can put along the lines of the letter. So I will just do a couple of these so you don't have to watch me put a whole bunch of stickers on the letter T, but I just wanna kinda of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So they would use their stickers to kind of trace the lines of the letter, and that helps them to get a better idea of the motions of the letter and the lines of the letter. You can also point out shapes in each letter. There are shapes in every letter. They can be torn down to basic shapes like circles and triangles and rectangles and squares. And so knowing the shapes in the letter will help them to differentiate and recognize letters in print. So for example, the letter B, the capital letter B, has two circles or two ovals. 
that they might recognize when they look at this letter. So take a look at some of the letters and see if your child can point out the shapes in them. The letter A looks like a triangle. So as you may have already pulled out from this, conversation is key for this skill. A child can see the letters, they might even be able to recognize this letter looks like this letter, but they have no idea what it sounds like if they don't hear it out loud. And the English language is really hard sometimes. Letters can sound differently depending on what letter they're next to. So it's really difficult sometimes to figure out the sounds of those letters. So you can help your child realize these differences by speaking them out loud whenever possible. When you're walking in the grocery store, when you're taking a walk around town, when you're driving, you can do simple things like point out buildings and point out a type of food and say, what letters do you see on this box? And um, use that as your time to build those early literacy skills so it's built into your day that you don't have to just sit down and work on letter knowledge. You can do that as you're having fun and spending your day together. So, for more information and guidance, you can come to the Winona Public Library. We are more than happy to help you find great books, to give you a few other activities that you can do at home. And in fact, I will actually include a link with this video that is a link to our website that has some worksheets and other uh, materials that you can use to further these skills at home in addition to the um, skills that I've just mentioned to you today in this video. So I hope that you take some of this information with you and start to incorporate it in your everyday so your child can start to work on that letter knowledge before they enter kindergarten. Please join us for our next six skills of early literacy video, which will focus on vocabulary. Thanks for joining today.